All right, guys. So oven baked trout, buttered potatoes, green beans, a little extra uh, salt and pepper on top afterwards. And uh, let's get after it. Oh my gosh, guys, that was freaking delicious. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and see how we got to this point. Hey, what up, guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Today, I'm going to our local like pond, like the city pond. Apparently, they stocked it with a bunch of rainbow trout yesterday. Rained last night. It's supposed to rain again today. These trout are, are meant literally for you to catch and keep. They're just stocked in the winter. Like, they won't survive the summer. It just gets too hot. So, summertime, this is catfish pond. Wintertime, this is trout pond. And so, let's go catch some trout. Starting off with, like, a rooster tail. Just throwing a spinner. Give that a shot for a little bit. If that doesn't work, then we're just going to drown some salmon eggs or power bait. So... Let's stick some lips. Guys, I like never fish out here. I'll come out here occasionally for catfishing at night or whatever during the summer, but I have no clue how deep the water is. All right, so I switched sides and I'm gonna try over here on this side now. There we go. Where'd he go? Oh, nice. That's a nice rainbow. Oh man, that's a nice rainbow. Oh no, my line just freaking twisted up. Look at the size of that guy. Look at that. That's a nice bow. Heck yeah. I can't lift that guy. Where are my pliers? Heck yeah, guys, look at the size of that rainbow. That thing is huge. All right, that came on the salmon eggs. There we go. Another nice rainbow. Look the size of that guy. Awesome. So one on power bait and one on eggs. There we go. He's not fighting very hard. He's decent, he's not as big. But he's still a nice trout. About a 10 incher. Decent little fish. All right, 
there's three. There's one. Another nice one. No, 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 no. All right, guys, so I call it, called it quits for, uh, for today. Both of my reels started acting up on me. I mean, I got four. They're all pretty decent, so I'm gonna head home and uh, clean them up, cook them up. All right, guys, as you can see, the two largest uh, came out almost 15 inches. Uh, the two smallest are, I don't know, like 11 or 12. All right, guys, so all I've done so far is clean the fish, you want to pat it dry really well. You don't want any water on or in the fish. All right, guys, so I got the oven preheating to 400. I've taken some butter and I've wiped it down on both sides of the fish and then put the butter on the inside as well. Okay. You want to lightly salt and pepper it. Inside and outside. I prefer to use freshly ground pepper. If you use a pepper medley, um, like with multi-color peppercorns, adds a little, uh, uh, a little more complex flavored profile. All right, you've salt and peppered both sides. Take a couple of thin slices of lemon. Thinner the better. Don't really worry about seeds. You're not eating the lemon anyway. And some dill. I would normally use fresh dill. I don't have any fresh dill, so. It does not take a lot of dill. And that's, that's it. You wrap it in aluminum foil. Make like a little fish burrito. Wrap it in aluminum foil. Bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Obviously the size of your fish will dictate how long you have to cook it. You guys, the skin just peels right off. So if you didn't scale your fish, it's fine. Skin comes right off. All right, guys. So oven baked trout, buttered potatoes, green beans, a little extra uh, salt and pepper on top afterwards, and uh, let's get after it. I'm stuffed.
And that's what's left over from the other two trout that we never even got to. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. It looks like me holding the fish. If you enjoyed the video want to see more Catching Cooks, let me know. Drop a comment below. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get out on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.